And, I, and there is one more point, actually, I want to make about the Afghan war. And this, this one might raise some eyebrows. But I would I say the Afghan war, the one that we fought in, was the last luxury war, the last good war to fight. What do you mean? Look at the front lines of current conflicts with the drone capability that has allowed almost anybody to take out um, bunkers, to take out infantry, to take out uh, <clears throat> mechanised armoured vehicles using a £2,000 DJI converted drone. War out there is absolute hell. You can't hide. When we were in forward operating bases in, in the upper Sangam Valley, in the daytime, we were, doing, we were bronzing and doing fizz. We had all the weights there, had protein shakes helicoptered in by the RAF or whoever, what other force that was providing our logistics. And it was, you know, we had e blueies and internet and paradigm phones to go out on patrol get in a ruck, get in a ruck. yes the casualties i'm not saying that that fighting wasn't hard i'm not saying it wasn't brutal but our casualty numbers over 20 years britain's casualty numbers about 170 so 470 470 dead obviously a lot more wounded but could you imagine ever again being able to sit or sit openly in a forward operating base or any base look what happened recently in Yemen to those American soldiers. And these weren't special forces soldiers, these were logistics troops, when an Iranian drone or Houthi drone went in and took out a load of them. Mm. That, is what, that is what warfare looks like nowadays. Yeah. You have to live in a tunnel yeah. it's, it, permanently yeah, to fight. It's crazy.